Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, everybody. Welcome back to your pre-market watch list here today. Uh, to be truthful, not actually sure what we're really gonna do today. Um, looking at all the stocks kind of moving around, I haven't seen anything that's like, yeah, so excited, gotta trade it. I haven't really had one of those today. So might just be a situation where we kind of sit patient for Monday morning until market open and then see what kind of comes of. Done a little bit of trading so far this morning. Um, so the day's up to $1,400 green. Um, so overall, good start to Monday. We're already green, so that's good. Um, so a couple things we will pay attention to are primarily a bunch of penny stocks. So I mean, AIM was a penny stock that we shorted the day, made some money on. So we're still gonna be watching this uh, throughout the day. It's a pretty good candidate so far. It's got a lot of news regarding its drug status for cancer, drug something, FDA's orphan drug designation status for the treatment of pancreatic cancer. So it sounds good. Um, I don't know much about it. I can't say that I'm a doctor and I know a lot about cancer. Um, but anytime we get cancer news, usually the market responds to it pretty well. And the market responded to that news very well today. Uh, the market responded so well that the price went from two to 277. So it already made a very significant jump pre-market. It's faded out since then. Question really remains, can we go higher into the open? I have no idea. Uh, but based on AIM and the long-term charts that it has, uh, I do think it still kind of has some room that it could run. So. Uh, let's see, that's all the way at 470. I mean, it, theoretically, uh, AIM, you know, it has, you know, potentially up to 320 to whatever I said, 470. I think that's what it was. Come on, Thinkorswim. There you go. Jesus, computer. So, AIM overall, you know, could potentially have up to 470 to like 330 as well. Um, so anyways, anything over the price of 285 will be short by us on AIM. We would guaranteed be short at 320 and then we'd most definitely be short at 475. The likelihood it gets to 320 is probably not gonna happen and the likelihood it goes all the way up to 470 is almost guaranteed that's not gonna happen. But if it did, we would be short, uh, who knows, 20, 30, 40,000 shares at that point. Because if it went all the way to 475, it, it'd pretty much be a guaranteed winning short. So we would hammer it around 475. Um, so AIM is of one of the candidates on the watch list, but we do think it's going to end up kind of dropping down and being more of a short trade to start the day. Um, there's a couple other things that move like NK, CRBP, PDSB, um, nothing that we really even like. So I figure what I'm just going to do is uh, jump straight on over to NEO and Tesla because everyone's always excited to hear about that, right? So. NEO, as many know, bounced on the first location that we had touched on, never made it to the second location that we would have wanted more. So we ended up picking the first one, it bounced. Our target in the bounce for NEO was gonna be as high as 49.75. The move got to a high of 47 or 48. So we were about $1.75 off from the target on this bounce. Uh, right now, we're not anything with NEO. We're not long, we're not short, and we're neutral. Because when we look at the price of NEO and it's trading, there's nothing for us to really want to be actionable on. We have trending support down here at 42.45. We have trending resistance up at 49.85. So we're not really on a trending resistance. We're not really on a trending support. So in this instance, we would normally just let NEO do whatever it wants to do not try to even guess or make a play on what it's going to do, but just let it do whatever it wants to do until it makes sense to us or reaches one of our action points, which for now would be 49.85 and 42.48. So until we do one of those moves, we're not really anything on NEO for the time being, okay? Now, looking at Tesla, Tesla got included the S&P 500 or whatnot, stock exploded up and then it came down. So everyone's got all a bunch of questions, what's gonna happen with Tesla? Again, I have no idea. I don't know if being included to the S&P 500 is gonna make it go another 500 points. Uh, I, none of that I actually know. But what I do know is the market did make it back to a short-term resistance point of 685 bucks. So I wouldn't actually be surprised if, if Tesla sold down from here because this looks like the first attempt at resistance. Um, this could have been the first attempt, but I'm not sure because time has changed and I haven't been paying attention to Tesla. 
So it's very possible this is the first attempt move at breaking resistance, which it would normally fail. So I wouldn't be surprised if today you end up seeing a red day on NEO because, well, it would make sense uh, to see a red day uh, on NEO. See these resistance marks around 685 and 690? See how we went up to those levels and then we didn't break? So that's the market, that's me, that's a market telling us that it respects this level as resistance and that's why we've already sold off. If in the event Tesla goes all the way down to 643 today, I'd be long bias. If somehow Tesla went all the way up to 690, I'd be short bias. Um, so we're long down here in the 640s. We anticipate it's going to go lower. Okay. And then quickly, I'm just going to touch on the S&P 500 because it got smoked not too long ago, just overnight. Um, so really big drop in the market. Didn't really see this coming. Uh, market pretty much fell to a trending support. If you look at this, you have that dotted line going to the middle. So we pretty much retrace on that pullback all the way down to trending support. This is a situation where we're not long bias the market, we're not short bias the market because the market isn't on any of our trending support, it's not really on trending resistance, so we're just kind of in the middle of the move, which is something that we don't normally trade because we like to be the first in on the move, so we either like to be the first ones buying the dip, so that would've been all the way on the low here, or we like to be the first one shorting the top. So essentially our whole strategy is picking bottoms and tops, which most people are like, oh, you should never pick a bottom and a top. It's just too dangerous. This is just too, okay, well, that's exactly what we do. And that's what we like to do. Um, so we highly stress being first in on the short and first in on the move. Couple reasons why. Being first in means you make the most money if the play is correct. Being first in means you take the smallest loss if you're wrong. By letting something bounce and waiting for confirmation, the moves already happen. And then if you're wrong about the confirmation, your support is so much further from your entry than it would be if you just tried to start at the beginning. So we're not we're not ones for wait for confirmation. No, we're the ones that say this is exactly where it should bottom. We want to be along there. So since the market's already bounced, we're just basically neutral. Um, kind of same thing like NEO. NEO's not really on any of the levels that make sense. That's low risk for us to trade off of. So we're not taking any action there. So uh, really, I do anticipate that overall, uh, markets are gonna try to trend a little lower today after retracing up to about this point. So we figured the market would try to retrace up to 365, and if the markets really wanted to be bearish today, they would roll down off at of 365. Um, we would for sure be bearish the market if it gets all the way back up to like 371 prices as well. So. Again, we're, we're really just basically neutral on a lot of plays today. Uh, so with that being said, I know it was kind of a quick one, uh, not the most direction. Um, to be truthful with you, I'm feeling a little under the weather today. So maybe going to call it a little early on trading and try to rest up. So uh, that being said, guys, thanks again for tuning in. I do appreciate the support. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.